we have a hypothesis that the landscape remembers climate change. And we say remember, we use that metaphorically. But uh, what we mean by that is that the landscape has a record of a different climate preserved in it. And the caliche is, uh, is important because it has a stratigraphic record. It's a very minute record. It's only, you know, less than an inch, but there are layers in it that act like tree rings or they act like snow stratigraphy or they act like lake sediment stratigraphy. And that is you have the youngest on top and as you go down, you go back in time. We, our hypothesis would be that this was a, uh, a very stable climate for a long time period. It's represented here. And then it changed. And so now we have uh, deposition of younger material on top of it. Then the next step is to look at the carbon isotopes that are recorded, that have uh, accumulated in these different layers. And we do that by using a mass spectrometer. And so by dissecting each one of those small layers and then analyzing it for its carbon isotopes and its chemistry and organic matter and different things. Uh, we have a record of what was occurring on land, which was only a foot above the caliche layer. So you have the land surface that you know, people walking on and the plants are growing on and it's controlled by the climate. So if the climate changes, then the vegetation changes. And the vegetation changes, then the caliche layers should record that. And the whole reason for doing this study is we're really interested in climate change. And we're interested in have humans contributed to climate change, global warming, by burning fossil fuels. Well, to help understand that, we need to know the natural cycles of climate change because we know that going back through time, there have been arid periods like today. There have been more humid periods when this landscape was totally covered with black grama grassland. And uh, so this is what we want to know. This is kind of baseline or, um, you know, what is the normal? cycle of climate change and that's why we're looking at this record.